Hello, sorry for the not great angle, but I'm in bed reading, watching YouTube. Um, I have a quick, hopefully quick, book review for you. Um, this is Piper by Jay Asher and Jessica Freeberg, illustrated by Jeff Stokely. Um, this is a retelling of the Pied Piper story. And I gave this three stars. Um, this video may contain spoilers. I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to say yet. But what I will say is I read this because I am, I am hearing, but I am taking a deaf culture class. I'm doing a degree in sign language interpretation. And I read this to include in a paper that I'm doing for that class. So my thoughts and opinions are influenced by and come from the point of view of those things. Um, so, yeah. Um, first, this would be a four-star book, but I do have some minor issues with it. Um, First being that the on the flap here where it has the synopsis, it refers to her deafness as a disability, which this book came out in 2017. So that's... Everybody is different, obviously. What we are learning in class is most pe deaf people who are part of... The deaf community or deaf culture um, don't view deafness as a disability. So that's coming from what I've learned in class. Um, so I had, I took issue with that. Like I said, I'm writing a paper and this is going to be in it. So don't chew me out too bad. Um, the art is nice. I did like the art. Um, there you go. Um, the main character, Maggie, uh, Magdalena, but she goes by Maggie, is deaf. It shows in the book, obviously this is the Pied Piper retelling, but it is not modern. It's set, like, back then in the town of Hamlin. I may be mispronouncing that. So it's like historical I mean you can see here's a really good one with like the buildings and the time period you can get an idea of the time period so um everybody in the village is mean to her they hate her because she's different basically um I'm getting a hand cramp uh she lost her hearing gradually as a kid we don't really know why me I can't see my notes I'm in the middle of reading another one um she starts falling for the piper and he seems to be falling for her but then by the end of it we wonder was he actually falling for her or did he just act like it because he needed some other way to control her because she can't hear his music um there's also a deaf rat in this which I thought was a cool inclusion but then we didn't really do much with the rat. Like, okay, there's a deaf rat. Cool. What are we going to do with it? And then there was, like, the implication... It showed a little bit that the Piper had, like, put the rat in a cage and was maybe trying to figure out how to still control it with his music, like putting it on an organ where it could feel the vibrations. So I assume the implication is that he's trying to figure out how to control Maggie. Um in a similar way, but we never really found out. Um, so I would have liked to see more with the rat. That would have been cool. Overall, it was a pretty good book, and when I read the flap, I thought that it was going to be something that was going to have major problems, um, and, like, be really ranty about it in my paper, but it ended up not being so bad. The content itself was good, just whoever wrote that flap whether it's the authors or not. I think they could have 
spent some more time in the deaf community near where they live, talked to people, gotten an idea of deaf culture, taken a class like the one I'm taking, even just read the book that we had as a textbook in my class, um, would have been very helpful, possibly for the authors as well, but they did do a pretty decent job. Um, if you like retellings or your look, if you like retellings, I would recommend this. Um, if you're looking for a book with rep deaf representation, I would hesitantly recommend it. I, I would still say read it, but I would also say know what you're getting into. So, um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Like I said, I gave this three stars. I think I knocked off a star for the, uh, synopsis issue, but yeah, have you guys read this? Um, any questions, comments, opinions? I would love to see them down in the comments. Don't shoot me out too bad. Like I said, I know I'm hearing, but I'm reading this from the perspective of having been in this class for over half a semester and I'm using this for my paper at the end of class. So don't kill me too bad. Um, you'll see more books that I'm using for this paper come up. And uh, don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.